Over the last 24 hours, we've seen some of the major cryptocurrencies increase from 6 to 20%. So is the bear market over? Today's video, I want to go through Bitcoin, look at some price targets and understand what a bottom means in Bitcoin. What does that mean to some of the billionaires coming in to buy Bitcoin? This is Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto channel. If you guys are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button notification icon and like the video up if you find some value from the content. All right, guys, let's dive into Bitcoin today and then look at some of the price projections that we now can start to look at since we've had such a solid correction. That's the exciting part. This is the period where we can start to plan out the future. It's very difficult to plan out the future at the tops of the market. So be excited about these low times. I know many of you have been reading your comments and you see that the corrections are the best times to be buying. So the market cap 1.672. Why do we keep looking at the market cap? It's to gauge where the money is in the market and our 50% level, which if you're unfamiliar with, is our important support point and that's at $1.33 trillion. So we're comfortably sitting above that. Uh, over the last few hours, we have also had the monthly close and the monthly close has been relatively okay across the board, across the majors. So that brings a little confidence as well. Plus we've seen the volume come into the space and the volume tells us where the the smart money is buying. The other side to that is the dumb money, or we can call it politically correct, I guess, is the not so smart money. But we're not concerned with that here. It's the smart money and the dumb money. Let's have a look at the rest of the market. Bitcoin is sitting at 700 billion, ETH at 316 billion, Cardano, one of the favorites here, is 56, and Doge is rounding out the top seven, 742 billion. Uh, the others that have had a very hard time are DOT and Uni with 16 and 21 billion. Uh, the big mover today has been Link. In the top 20, Link has moved 20% over the last 24 hours. So we've seen the likes of Matic shoot up from its lows a couple of weeks ago and uh, go around 200%. But now Matic isn't moving as much and we see uh, many of these other cryptos start to play catch up. So it's all a bit of a, a, a leveling out game at the moment. A recap of our Swiftex demo portfolio. If you guys don't have a link to Swiftex, you can use the one in the description down below. You get $10 of free Bitcoin when you sign up. We are at 14,200. So we're only up about 10%. Mind you, we were investing at the top of the market in February, saw some gains and then lost it all during the crash, but we're up around 10%, even though we invested at the top of the market. I believe Cardano, Solana, and Link have been our main players to hold us steady. And that's not a bad look, especially when we have uh, pretty big losses on the graph, DOT, and Wi-Fi, which is now holding steady. So that's why I've got the portfolio balanced in these levels. If you want to know more about this, stick around the channel. We continue to update the portfolio regularly and make changes to it as need be. The fear and greed is at 20. Now I've talked about the fear and greed plan it's a couple of videos back. Check it out. I'll leave a link to it at the end of this video. So make sure you watch through to the end and check out the fear and greed Bitcoin purchasing plan. Got to make some additions to it, but it's a really, really good start. Uh, and there's been some fantastic comments on it. Today is at 20. So it's not a buy day from that plan, but we're still in extreme fear, even though we are not at the major lows around 30K. If you're not following, check out Twitter. Lots of good stuff over there. Nearly hitting 20,000. Uh, lots of news that I'm covering over on Twitter as well and just updates around the market. So if you're feeling a little bit scared or worried when the market drops, stick around on that and hopefully you can be comforted by my tweets. Also daily Q&As on Instagram. So make sure you're following over there, daily Q&As on the stories. All right, let's have a look at the charts. Now, this is Bitcoin. It is a monthly chart. We're zooming out again. No, I'm not zooming out because I think we're going into a major bear market and we've got to wait for three years. I don't think that is happening this time. I think we've had a solid clean out of a lot of weekends after people, well, retail was getting in through February, March and April. Clearly seen on the charts now with the volume, lowering volume, lowering increases. Eventually, we needed a flush out. We've hit our 50% point talked about many, many times on the channel before, which is another fantastic zone to be buying. All of these arrows 
discuss the 50% zones using a Fibonacci extension. And as you can see through a bull market, they have come out to be fantastic buy zones, coupled with a fear and greed index plan. And I think you're pretty solid there. So go back and check those out. There's a lot of good info in those videos. As I said, I'll leave them at the end of this one. So what I'm doing here is looking at the major low to the major high. We've bounced off our 50%. That's at around 34K. So that's an important level to be watching. And further up the chart, we're looking at our 161% and our 200%. So we're at around $102,000 and $125,000. That's using our, our FIB extension tool here. The other tool I want to use is the trend-based FIB extension. So this one, I'm going to anchor to a major monthly low. So that, that's coming in at uh, 9,800. That's the September 2020. Then pin it to the high. So anchor it again to the high that we had around 64 and a half, 65K. And now we currently have a low. Doesn't mean it's the major low. And if, if, if the market happens to drop further than 30K, the current bottom, then we'll have to move this tool to the next low. That's how it's used. So we're at 30,000 and $66, so just some rough numbers here. And moving forward, we just wanna see where this comes out at. So above, we wanna look for the 100% area, and that's at 84, call it $85,000. And if we get an extension, a further move, like a bigger run up, which is what we want to see in a market, it'll be somewhere around 98 and a half. Should we get one and a half? So 150% of this range, it's going to come out around $112,000. So these are all we're doing here is to get price points to see where a price cluster may form. And those areas are generally price resistance levels. So I'm looking here at the next, uh, going back to the next low of 38.50. So I'll just bring that up. There's around 38.50. 100% brings us out at 91, 106. And 121. So you can start to see that we had a couple of prices around the 102 and 125,000. Make no mistake, there will be a lot of people selling around that 100 to 120,000. So the urgent, as I like to say, the actually urgent part of every single one of these videos is to have a plan. Now is a fantastic time to have a plan, to build a plan, just to write a few notes down. And uh, you can see some good areas of buying set yourself some areas of selling because the last thing you want to do is run up into a market and not know to sell. Now the flip side to that is you are not going to sell the top. So if you can become comfortable with not selling a top, you're going to make profits. If you have to sell the top, it's going to be very, very difficult. Every time the market dips, you're probably going to try and sell out what you have in anticipation of further falls. And then as the market turns around again and goes up, then you're probably gonna try and buy back at higher prices. And this is what wears out the retail investor. And they make very small returns in a bull market when this is the easiest time to be making money. So if you don't have a plan, this is generally the plan, the default plan for retail investors. They sell when they're scared, they buy when they're greedy, uh, or they're getting FOMO, and they miss out on really good returns. So I'll leave the, the link, as I said, about three times already in the video, at the end of this video to a plan that you can work with. Think about areas you want to sell. This is an easy way to come up with some levels of uh, price clusters, price resistance, and reasonable, in my opinion, the way I like to play the market is take some profits. I don't need to sell out of everything at this point because the market could shoot up further and head to 180 or 200 grand. Uh, at the moment with our lows at 30K, I would like to see around 150,000. You know, it gives us five times from where we are at the 30K level up to around 150. So that gives us 400%, so around a 5X there. I think that's a pretty safe level. Uh, if it doesn't get there, then I have my other reasons and alerts on uh, where I can get out and not wait for 150K because there are a lot of price targets floating around out there saying we're going to get to a 300K Bitcoin or 250 or 450 or 500K Bitcoin. And if you're waiting on those sort of prices and they don't come, that then you sort of fall into this trap of just having to uh, sit through a 50, 60% correction. And potentially if that's the end of the bull market and we go into a bear market, then you've got to sit through a few years potentially by not 
um, by, by looking at a target which may not come. So if you've got some levels on the way up, it is much easier to to sleep at night because you're able to recover some of those profits, some of that capital that you've put into the market. So the point here is the actually urgent point, as we know from YouTube, get a plan, write something down. These are some ways to look at exiting a market. And uh, we've also talked about entries to a market. So that's, that's all you need in a plan. You need to have your entries, you need to have your exits, and then you have your money management, your trade management, because you never know if it's going to reach a 200K level, but you need to know if you uh, when to get out and why you're getting out so that you can sleep much easier at night with your investments. Planning from lows is a lot more fun than planning at highs. Now, I say that because these are the levels that we get to see where the strong money, the smart money has come in to support the market. At least they've supported it in this occasion. It doesn't mean that we're going to get support every other time, but there is pretty strong support at $30,000 now. So this basically draws a line in the sand to say, look, there's money buying up Bitcoin at 30K. Should we fall to 20K or 25K, there is still support at 30. And it just reduces our risk moving forward. So these are the levels that you would have bigger money buying in at. They're going to tell us later that they bought at 30K or 33K. They're not going to tell us at the time that they bought. Why we use a chart is because we can see when the money has come in. You can see the volume increased in May and uh, we've seen a low form at 30,000. So this just draws a line in the sand. I feel far more comfortable buying when the big money's buying rather than buying in the FOMO times when retail is buying. I don't want to do what retail is doing at highs and I'm sure you don't want to do that either. So we know that retail bought through those highs of February, March and April because the volume dried up. Big money wasn't buying then, shows right here on the chart and there wasn't much of an increase in price. You can just measure from the high to the next monthly high of 6% and then it had about an 11%. It's basically nothing for those few months. Now we've seen a good solid correction. This is a, a reset. It's a perfect reset that we need. Should the market go down a little further, so be it. We just have more buying opportunities, much better times than a few months ago. So that's what I wanted to leave you guys with. We've looked at Bitcoin projections over the coming months. Great times to uh, start setting up a plan if you haven't already or adjusting your plan if you feel the need to. Buying, it, buying points, selling points, risk management, uh, everything you need to become a better investor moving forward. If you want to learn more about investing, check out the Investor Accelerator. There's a link to this in the description down below. And if there's not the time for you to be jumping into one of these, check out the free newsletter that we put out once every two weeks looking at everything in crypto, stocks and the property cycle. So this is really your Investor Accelerator. Jump onto the email and uh, uh, learn from the experience of myself and my other trader in the group as well. So check it out there. Thank you once again, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. If you found some value, let me know. Hit the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel. Bell notification icon. I'll see you on Instagram for daily Q&As and also Twitter for crypto and uh, economic financial news updates. Thanks, guys. I'll see you at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.